Hello everybody, I'm so excited today because we're actually doing something that's not 100% related to plants and beside me you see this lovely lady, her name is Tasmin, she is a painter, an artist, a modeler, what's you call it, model? Modeler, <laughs> modeler. If you haven't done so yet make sure to subscribe to my channel and also feel free to comment and let me know what other videos you want to see and follow Tasmin at oh at tasmin.aisha on, on Instagram, Instagram. <laughs> hi Tasmin hi and hi Wally's garden audience I'm very happy to be here we've been talking about this for a while but yeah. finally it's actually gonna happen and we came up with this idea and it was very much in tandem with how I've been feeling recently you know it's just like I need to get back in touch with my artistic side every time I go over to you guys and I see the paintings I get really <laughs> excited and nostalgic um, I feel like this was a very easy way of getting back into the painting yeah. without a whole lot of pressure because you know, it's fun and also I think the plants have inspired me to really look at my creativity again because there's just an appreciation for slow living yeah. for things that don't come together immediately and it's kind of like a painting, a garden. Yeah. So I'm um, bringing back that, 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 that part of me through the plants and now onto the canvas and so let's see how this turns out. It's Are you excited? I'm really excited. I'm so excited. Tasmin, this is what we're going to be tackling today. <laughs> so you might be wondering why is Wally painting but I actually am um, AJCDC silver and bronze medalist <laughs> um, and so I, I haven't actually painted since prep school you paint all the time tell me about what you what your medium is and what you like to do so I don't paint as much as I should I'll just be real <laughs> but I use a lot of um, they're called water soluble oils so it's kind of a mixture between acrylics and oils the pigmentation is bomb they're so bright and colorful I myself am an oil paint guy by nature, but today I'm going to be doing acrylic to see how that works out. It's not going to be the same, but well, easier cleanup, right? Yeah, and also it's good for what we're doing because we don't have two weeks to finish a painting. Like, we just are going to get this done and make it fun. So, acrylics are perfect for this. I didn't say, but she's actually a proud plant parent. <laughs> Tell me about your plants. So, I got this plant at kind of a yard sale. My mom's friend's mom, so a grandma lady, she was moving and she was like, I want this plant to have a good home. So, she gave it to me and then I put it in my car. She lived up in Gordon Town, strapped her in. And then I'm like driving down Gordon Town and then I like turn to my side and there's a massive lizard <laughs> like just staring at me and I just pulled over and jumped out of the car and I was like no. <laughs> Luckily some kind gentleman on the side of the road came and got rid of the lizard and that's my story of Jonah. So she gave you a lizard and it came with a plant? Yeah basically. <laughs> I was so afraid man like driving next to this lizard. Ugh. Tell me about your orchid. Oh yeah, I got an orchid for my birthday last week. It's yellow and it's really pretty. Okay, well, all the best for you on that orchid. I don't have any orchids, so I don't know what that means. If you were a plant, which plant would you be? I think I would be a peony. A pink peony. Not just one, like a bouquet. So it's a flower? Yeah. Oh, okay. It's right. beautiful. Cute picture. Why would you be the peony? Um, Because they're beautiful. They're an explosion of color. They're classy. And... They are fun. <laughs> and that's really just like Tasman. I want to talk a little bit more about your art. Um, how did you get into art? When did you realize you had a passion? I always loved drawing. When I was really young, I would draw like from storybooks and coloring books. I'd try copy, what was in it? Lots of Disney princesses, lots of mermaids that whole thing and um, then I went to boarding school and they had a really good art department and the teacher was like oh why don't you try painting and I've never like had access to paint that just wasn't something that we had I tried it and I'm not going to toot my own horn but my painting was really really awesome and, <laughs> and then I was like oh whoa I didn't know I could do this and so I just continued doing it it reminds me a lot of how I started I was very young and I just used to like to draw and then my parents were very encouraging they bought paints for me and you know, I started to experiment with that so Tasmin you told me about boarding school and that was in the UK right yes what kind of impact did that have on your art it kind of started my interest in art just because of this teacher and he always encouraged us to 
take ourselves seriously as artists even though we were like 15 16 and he give us kind of interesting tips like when you're painting a portrait turn the um, painting upside down because that will make you see it with fresh eyes and then you'll instantly notice if maybe you have done something weird on the face or never sit down while you're painting like you should be moving around so you can see it from different angles and he was just really cool and really into it and then obviously when you live in Europe or in England you're around some of the best art galleries in the world and you can just go and like see literally the best art in, that's ever been made <laughs> yeah. so yeah just to have that at your from all over the world all over the world because you know they looted a lot of stuff so. <laughs> It's just nice to have it at your fingertips. It kind of reminds me as well because European art did have a kind of seminal role into my what I consider to be my specialty, which is portraits. And I used to collect a lot of coins and I used to research the faces on the coins. And what they had were the, the portraits, the paintings of all of the kings or the queens mm -hmm. or the aristocracy or whatever. And that's that was kind of my introduction. And it's unfortunate because, you know, I, I, I learned about Caribbean art long after that. I know you have some favorite Caribbean artists or Jamaican artists. Yeah, um, Carl Abraham, of course, and um, Barrington Watson. I love painting black women, that's my thing, and he does too, so I don't know, I feel like we have that in common. <laughs> mm.